so this fight's totally different from your last appearance. How excited are you to have the ability to grapple? Oh man, I, I couldn't express, you know, how, uh, how it makes me feel to really be able to bring the full arsenal into the cage again. Because as you know, the last fight was, you know, scheduled as an MMA fight. Last minute change, went up in weight, change in rule structure. And, you know, it doesn't throw a whole lot of wrinkle in the game plan, but it wasn't what I wanted. And for a guy like me, where I feel my wrestling, grappling, jiu-jitsu, and striking are all kind of, you know, equal parts of my game, it felt like I was taking some away out of, out of what I was going to be able to bring. So to get, uh, to get to actually put those disciplines in the game plan is exciting, man. When I got the call on 11 days notice, I was absolutely in. Absolutely. That's awesome, man. Yeah, in your last fight, I even saw you, like, faint a takedown at one point. And I know you're just itching to get in there and not necessarily focus on the wrestling, but be able to use your full arsenal, you know, and take opportunities as they arise. Um, Samson's had a couple of losses due to submissions. Is that going to be a part of your game plan, trying to force that on him? Um, well, it depends on when this is going to air. You know, with it being an MMA fight, I'm going to... I'm going to look to win every exchange wherever it goes, wherever we stand up. Um, you know, if it goes to the ground, you know, look, I'm going to look to win there. This is, this is the fight. This is what I, you know, the majority of my career has been surrounded by. Um, and, you know, he's had a couple of submission losses, uh, like you mentioned. But, I mean, the guy's on an eight-fight win streak guys on, you know, across multiple spectrums of combative sports. I think there's a couple of boxing in there, a couple of Muay Thai. And uh, so, you know, once again, when I when that phone did ring and his name came across, I was like, that's the fight that I want that I want the tough fights like, you know, especially if I'm going to, you know, cut the weight. You know, the training was kind of already in there and I just, you know, kept training. And those are the tough fights that I want. You know, I want the I want I want those battles. And that's how ultimately. When it is all said and done, you know, people can, they will respect that. Certainly. Yeah, you're not, you're definitely not running from fights. You're definitely <laughs> not that kind of guy. I like how you're getting after it and you're trying to take down the, I guess, the big targets that maybe other people would shy away from or pull out of, uh, pull away from. He's a little bit shorter than your last opponent. On the feet, do you think it'll be a little bit easier to get in there whenever you want to? I do. Um, I think I'll have... Uh, the advantage in boxing um, inside. I plan to use a little bit more on that speed, the more speed and explosiveness that I've used in the past. Uh, he's got some really good clean kicks. He does have, you know, clean hands as well. But as far as creating angles, body positioning and stuff like that, if I, when I want to get in, I think I'll be able to. Your last fight was a tough one for me because I'm a big Cody Williams fan. Let's go. I'm really excited to see you get in there this time. Uh, I know you don't want to discuss your game plan a little bit too much, but uh, were you phased at all by your last fight? No, not at all. Um, you know, I had a good, strong camp. Um, it, you know, I don't, I don't lose. I win or I learn. You know, in every, everything, in the cage, in life, you know, whatever, where, whatever the situation is. I, I try to take that approach, um, but you know, to to reflect a little bit on that, you know, once the rule set changed into a Muay Thai fight, and I was going up in weight because, based on what I was told, is that no matter what the promotion paid him, he was not going to do MMA, and he was only going to do Muay Thai, at a, and only at 140 pounds. And with as close as we were to the fight, I'm like, you know, let's do it, and it. You know, for a sanctioned Muay Thai kickboxing match, doesn't count against your MMA record. Let's just go. Let's just go and bang it out and see what happens. You know, that's that's it. once again that's who I am. And uh, the little bit of frustrating part was, you know, I watched the fight several times after, but it took until about the fifth or sixth time where I watched the post-fight interview that um, Logan had in the cage. And he went into some detail about talking about how consistent he was and how in shape he was. Um, and it kind of irked me. 
because if you are that guy, you would have agreed to 135 pounds at MMA, but you didn't. So you either lied or your camp either lied about, hey, he's out of shape. We can only do 140 pounds. We can only do Muay Thai, three-minute three, three minute rounds, no five-minute rounds. Um, so that, that was, you know, something that once I heard and saw that, it kind of, my head did that. I was like, you know, and then he's in there talking about, you know, religious figures and Jesus and then wanting to get a significant other out into the woods, just some weird shit. And so I was like, you know what, I am going to address that because you don't get to play both sides of the coin respectfully. And just to, just to kind of conclude on that last fight situation, the original opponent, Joseph Murray, where's the camera? I'll be in Anaheim here in a couple, couple months for a few days and then Temecula again. You signed that contract while you were injured, assuming you would heal. I got a problem with that. That's disrespectful because the moment I get word that that contract comes back signed, I assume we're going to fight. I start making sacrifices in my life for my children and my family to fight you. And because you couldn't heal, everything changed. So hit me up. You've, you know my Instagram. You've been tagged on some of the same stuff too. I want to fight you at your gym, wherever. Whew. Enough said. That's how it is, man. Don't make me take time away from my kids. Is there anything else you want to say to the people? Revive MMA, you guys have been great. Uh, my nutritionist, man, with this 11-day call, because we had plans to go to 125 in January anyway. That's, that's the game plan. And so Johnny, uh, the promotion knew that. And so when this opportunity came up, I was like, hey, I know I can make 125 in January. I was like, making it on 11 days? Probably not. Let's see, we'll, let's see if we can do a catch at 130. And opponent agreed, so here we are. But my next phone call was to my nutritionist. He was like, we got this. He was like, we've, we've got it. And so Anthony Taylor, thank you so much, uh, my nutritionist, everybody at Revive, all the, you know, the coaches, training partners, everyone, uh, my two girls, Hayden and Austin Williams, I love you so much. Uh, my mom, my sister, you know, all the women in my life that I love.